Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthers. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from Spidey Wing, who has the Zeta Plus C1. And I am mildly envious. Uh, C1 is our first transforming support. It is a, uh, it is a, uh, a Zeta Gundam uh, type, which uh, can transform. It's a support. It has a beam smart gun, which uh, causes heavy stagger when charged, I believe. Uh, it's, an, it's a decent looking weapon, a uh, sniper rifle. It uh, can stun uncharged. It can heavy stagger when charged. You can fire it while moving. Trick is that if you fully charge it, it overheats when you, uh, uh, when you fire. So yeah, landed the shot nice and hard. Heavy stagger uh, plus, uh, uh, heavy staggered uh, plus uh, uh, 5,400 damage. Those are the words, good, good job, brain. But yeah, I, it may not have heavy staggered the Dovin Wolf, but the Dovin Wolf, of course, has that heavy uh, uh, stun resistance. So, uh, stun resistance like that, uh, like it and the Zok and the Gog have, can sometimes downgrade uh, heavy stagger to uh, uh, to just an ordinary stagger. Good shot there. Gelgud was uh, uh, ready to follow up though, so b uh, blocked uh, what probably would have been a finisher. But that's just. You know, part, part and parcel of team play, it happens, and, uh, let's see, someone says defusing bomb, which, no idea what they mean by that, because this is ace mode, there, there's no bomb, there cannot be bombs, but, let's see, that is a mark three, Spidey missed his first shot, that's the other, some of the other things the C1 has going for it, besides transforming, it has balancers, which is not unheard of for, uh, uh, for support mobile suits, but it also has melee combo controller uh, level one, which lets it get two swings off, which is very unusual for supports. So yeah, it you, it is basically it is all but a general in how it plays. It does not have a dodge roll. It does not have maneuver armor, so it has no no defensive uh, maneuvers uh, or no defensive skills realistically, which does kind of uh, make it a little bit more limited than an actual general tends to be. There's very few generals with none of that, so yeah, it's it's almost there. It's uh, there's always going to be, I think, a gap between uh, supports and generals, but yeah. Uh, uh, poor Spidey, he tagged, managed to hit the downed ally in the middle of that cloud of enemies, which I think we can rule out the C1's gun having uh, uh, having piercing at this point because he would have hit something if so. Uh, also, while we're on the subject, I am not sure exactly what this color scheme is. Um, I'm sure Spidey will be along in the comments to uh, let us know at some point. The video when it came to me, though, was uh, uh, was uh, titled Do Not Question the C1 Zeta, so that is probably a uh, clue for somebody if they uh, are uh, familiar with the uh, Kamen Rider and the kind of things that Spidey is into. Uh, in the meantime, Spidey is fighting, uh, was fighting that Dovin Wolf, landed some good shots on it, but the thing with the wolf is uh, it uh, has that stun resistance, which means that a beam saber attack is actually... A beam saber attack that does not knock down is not en uh, enough to stun it. One of the various axes, uh, axe types that can cause heavy stagger would probably at least stun it, but yeah, it, it was not enough. So he, uh, he got tackled out of that otherwise uh, solid attack. And let's see. Let's see, attacks from the left. Looks like Spidey and the Gelgoog are going to team up uh, for that, which is good because it looks like somebody else probably has the uh, Ashimar sorted. And let's see, waiting for the right shot. Tag the shield, which, see, here comes a Hombrebe. And let's see, landed the hip guns. It has the same hip guns as the Zeta Plus A1, which generally eh, do a lot more damage uh, on C1, as best I can tell, simply because, well, you're more likely to be hitting something you have type advantage against as a C1. Dovin Wolf is back. Spidey, uh, Spidey missed the shot. Ah, luckily it was not a charged shot, so you can try again at his leisure. And, let's see, did not land that one. Uh, let's see, almost time for a selection, about 15 seconds. Tried to hit the peasant, but it was, uh, I think it used a side swing and managed to uh, catch him. And, let's see, was not able to catch that. 
Yep, just time to move on because there's nothing much else. Yep, Ace can handle this, they're saying. Yeah, so leave anybody who's currently alive for the Ace. The Ace is a Gaplin, which is not a bad thing. Um, enemy Ace is a Zeta plus C1. And so, you know, it, never a bad thing for your base to have, or your Ace to have uh, type advantage against the enemy Ace. Spidey is very low on health, though, so... Yeah, it looks like the uh, C1 uh, tagged that person, so... And it's... Get, it's a little bit uh, getting a little bit crowded here. There's somebody over here. There's like two people behind Spidey. Tag the uh, the uh, tag the peasant Doge, I think it is. But yeah, unfortunately, there's just too much stuff behind him, so that is a death. Team's doing okay though. They've got a thousand point lead. That's basically one kill in an ace match. But it's it's uh, you know never bad to have the lead, and it can be expanded on. So 87, 89, 77, 13. Uh, let's see, the Ashimar, or the Gaplant, is a little bit isolated, and everyone is heading towards it, so kind of hope the rest of the team realizes that, but it, it, and in the uh, Grand Ace Match tradition, it is looking like no. That is just one of those things. It, it happens very frequently in Ace Matches. I may be running one soon where it happened to me. But yes, flying support, it is a great thing. And yeah, they have the, uh, they have the lead again, the enemy team, because yeah, just... Uh, add, Allied Ace got isolated and killed. But, it is time to uh, get back out there. Spidey can probably do pretty uh, solid damage to the enemy C1 if he gets a chance. Got stunned there by something. DJ? Not sure. But, yeah, that is a DJ. But, uh, yep, some hip gun shots. Good damage. Followed it up. Overheated. But that's just going to happen a lot on the Zeta Plus. And, good swing. Good damage. Uh, tag number 5, which happens... And see, tackled did not catch that mark three, but it's got hopefully got other things to worry about, and that gave Spidey's gun time to recharge. Fifty-five seconds left. His team is leading. Caught with one stab, and ah, tagged that wolf right in the uh, feet. I'm amazed it didn't tackle this time, but it didn't. And let's see, used the hip guns. Good choice. Tagged the smart gun. Didn't do enough to stun still, but tagged it with that, and then the ace followed up perfectly. Very nice. Okay, yeah, that was that was good, uh, good stuff. So they can keep the ace alive and kill this person. They've got it. So and ace got him again. Perfect setup. Yeah, that that's how it works. But here is here is the target that Spidey can engage wholeheartedly. I don't know if there will be time, but we're gonna see. Which. Oh, last second ace kills are always nice when you can swing it. Fired. Did not get it. Probably they'll keep their iframes, because I would. And... Yep. Yeah, may as well at least keep yourself alive to the end. But, yeah, good uh, good uh, finish there. Good, uh, good teamwork at the end, especially. And, yeah, thank you for sending me a Zeta Plus round, uh, Spidey. I really wanted to see how this does. Top assists at 1392, and top damage at 92,000. Very nice. So that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Seriously, though, I really do want this thing. I have actually been running uh, AB rooms to uh, get, my, uh, get uh, all of my daily crates as often as I can. I never do that, but I just am hoping to get more tokens or even drop the Zeta Plus. Best I can say I've gotten so far is the uh, spaced frame, which not bad to have.